Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks, I play a very series of videos I've been doing for a little while now. Go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, Tom, I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting to do a sub sandwich review today, but there you go. Sometimes that shit happens. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's a super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yam around a bob for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I am inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing grody work clothes, that means that I was on my way home from work. I found some shit to review for you. That is definitely the case today. I got off work. I was hungry. Was originally planning to maybe hit up a local spot. You know, do a proper sit-down breakfast kind of thing. But I was like, I don't, you know, I mean. And I was thinking about it, and they had a new gas station that they opened up just maybe a couple months ago. It's kind of along my route a little bit. And I was like, man, what the fuck? Let's, let's, just, let's just hit it up. So, what gas station did they open up? What did I get from it? Well, you already guessed it's a sub sandwich because I already said so. Boom! It's a, it is a sub sandwich specifically from Casey's. Specifically an Italian sub sandwich. And if you watch my channel, you know why. But if you don't, I have to preface this with three things, because this is a sub-sandwich review. See, folks, preface number one, for over a year now, I've been going on sub-sandwich adventures. What does that mean? That means that I have been going out to basically every place that I can find a sub-sandwich to buy and review, and I have been buying and reviewing them, uploading them onto my YouTube channel. Preface number two, I, in fact, got to a point where I had so many of them that I wanted to make it convenient for people who enjoyed my sub-sandwich reviews, and thank you, by the way, if you do so, and even if you don't, that's fine, too. I went over there and made an entire playlist called Subs for Subs. That is where I post all of my sub-sandwich reviews. I have, at the time I'm doing this, I have close to 100 uploaded. That is so much sub-sandwich goodness, you're never going to go for want. But... Maybe you're greedy. Maybe you need all the sub sandwich reviews, okay? Well, I can't give them to you all at once because I just, you know, for one thing, it'd just it be completely impractical on so many levels. But what I can do for you instead is just tell you, wait until Sunday. Why? Because Sunday is sub day. That is the day when I upload my sub sandwich reviews. Every Sunday I go over there, I'm going to give you a sub sandwich review. At least one. Typically two. Sometimes three or four. Depends on what I'm uploading and all that stuff, what I have in my backlog. So, with that all said, we are going to try out the Italian sub from Casey's. And again, if you watch my sub sandwich reviews, you know that when I try out a sub sandwich from a new location, I always like to try the Italian sub as my baseline. If you can't get that right, I have very little hope for you otherwise. This Italian sub consists of a white hoagie, ham, pepperoni, salami, provolone, cheese, Iceberg lettuce. Okay, that's got to be... Okay. It said provolone and cheese, and they're on separate lines. So I was like, wait, provolone is a cheese. Okay. Notice how there's, like, no dressing. There's no... I mean, look, folks. It's, it's, it's a gas station sub. I'm not hoping for greatness. But maybe it'll at least be okay. Right? Right. So let's take it out. I mean, it's not the worst looking sub I've reviewed. Not by a long shot. Let's give it a go. Ha ha ha! To her credit, the lettuce is still firm. Still got some crunch to it. I got this real early in the day, so... Okay. All right. Well, first and foremost, again, my expectations for this are very low. Gas station subs, typically, they're not big winners. Realistically, the best they can do is just improve upon what my anticipation for them is going to be. To that end, this one does in certain ways. 
I will say the flavor on it isn't terrible. It's not particularly evocative of a proper Italian sub, because again, proper Italian sub, you know, you've got your oils, you've got better quality meat, you know, it's, it's, it's a whole thing. This is the bargain basement version of it. But... I've definitely had worse gas station subs. I think it does help quite a bit that I got this one pretty early on. I think otherwise the lettuce wouldn't have stood a chance. But, the lettuce is relatively crisp. The salami and the pepperoni, I wouldn't call them exactly flavorful. But they do at least have the flavor that they're supposed to have, if not the level of the flavor that they're supposed to have. But it is there. Um, provolone has a little something. Not a lot, but a little something. I mean, here's the thing. With it being a gas station sub... They're obviously not going to go over there and put their best foot forward. They're not trying to go over there and make you a gourmet sub. They're just trying to give you something that you can pick up at fucking 2 a.m. if you need to. And it won't, hopefully won't go over there and kill you. This succeeds in that fashion. But, beyond that, I mean, the bread is pretty terrible. It's practically just a fucking hot dog bun. Um, it's really, I mean, it's doesn't have a good texture to it. It doesn't have any real flavor to it. It is just, this is sort of bread, and you can put shit between it if you feel like. That's all it is. And, yeah, so that obviously hurts it quite a bit. Bread quality is very minimal. And just in general, everything about it just feels extremely muted, you know? It, it works in the capacity of what it's supposed to be doing, but only in the most minimal level. And even then, again, if you're talking about, you know, against even a baseline proper Italian sub, it doesn't even come close. You know, there again, there's just actual elements missing that you would want to be there. And I get why they're not there. This is a sub that's going to be in a little plastic container. It's going to be out on a display for however long. Obviously, you want to minimize the perishable shit. That's going to be sitting there. Even the lettuce was honestly a pr little bit bold. You know, but you could have maybe tossed in a few onions, maybe some, you know, tomato. Would it have significantly helped? No, but... It's a sad thing when the best aspect of it is the lettuce. But that's the case. Mind you, not that the lettuce has a shitload of flavor or anything, but... I'll give it points for at least, you know, having some room. Alright, well, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? No. No. You already knew. Again, gas station subs, they're always going to be working at an uphill battle. But, some of them have occasionally surprised me a little bit. You know, none of them have been fantastic or anything, but I've had a couple that were like, ah, okay, okay. Typically, those are ones that are made by, like, actual delis and then, you know, sent to these locations. In this case, I mean, it just is what it is. It's a very baseline sub, and even that's me being a bit nice. But the basic elements are there. They're all very underwhelming. I, I think even, you know... <laughs> It's not the worst gas station sub I've had, but it neither is it the best. It's somewhere firmly in the middle. It's competent enough. It doesn't taste bad, though it barely tastes like anything. It's just, it exists. It fills that role if you need it to fill that role. Uh, so I definitely would not get it again. Like, it just, there's no reason for me to. But, uh... Would I, again, would I recommend it? No, because I think that 
when it comes to gas station food, you know, there is that element of convenience. Will this act as a sandwich for you? Yes. Will it taste really anything like an Italian sub should? No. Strictly, if you need it as a convenience factor thing, it's fine. It will put calories in your body. But if you want to actually enjoy it on a flavor level, you will not. It is a very hollow eating experience. I would say just, you know, wait until, yeah, hell, even like a Subway. Usually I don't try to pimp for Subway, but in this case, yeah, even a Subway sandwich would definitely be a, a good upshot. Even though, again, not the worst gas station sub I've ever had. It is workable. And I don't think it's, it's certainly not, you know, the fault of, you know, whoever made it or anything like that. It's just, it is what it is. You're getting super, you know, baseline ingredients there's just no anything to it, you know? And that just is what it is. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of the day, spectacular rest of the week, monumental rest of the month, stupendous rest of your folks. You go over there, have yourselves a truly proper Italian sub sandwich rest of your life. Please, for the sake of Zool, if you, if you want a proper Italian sub sandwich, please go through my playlist and go find... I've eaten so many. Do yourself that favor. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity to the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's a good do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there with you in it. And, you know, folks, I mean, look, is this sandwich bad enough to put me in a bad mood? No. No, it's not. Worst it would do is maybe just make me feel a little bit melancholy. Maybe want to go, you know, listen to some, uh, early 2000s emo music or some shit as I go over there and pine for the, you know, better sandwich days. But, at the end of the day, you know, we're going to have to deal with stuff in our lives that are stressful, frustrating, etc. And when we do, I mean, if you want to go listen to some early 2000s emo music, good on you, genuinely. I used to shit on the emo scene because I kind of came from the new metal scene and emo sort of kind of came in afterwards and just sort of sucked the life out of everything. But, you know, then I got older. It's like, eh, enjoy your stuff. If you want to feel sad or what the fuck ever, I don't know. Do the thing. Enjoy your stuff. I'm old now anyway. Who the fuck cares what I have to say? I wish more people fucking take that opinion in life. But anyway, take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, here's what I want you to do. You're not going to eat this Italian sub sandwich. You're going to get yourself a better Italian sub sandwich. Because maybe, if enough people don't eat these things, maybe Casey's and the other gas, sta gas station brands will go over there and realize that, hey, maybe if we go over there and put in a little bit more effort, Maybe we can go over there and make something that's a little bit more worthwhile to eat. And the sad thing is, is like Casey's, their food is not bad, actually, you know, by gas station standards. They actually have some stuff that's pretty decent. It's hit or miss. Why with this, then? Why with this? But, or conversely, if you want to get the fucking thing from, if you want to get the sad sandwich from Casey's and go over there and listen to some, I don't know, what's an emo band? I always thought My Chemical Romance was an emo band, but then I was told by other emo people that it's not. I also thought that the band Jimmy Eat World was not an emo band, and then later on I was told that they are. So I don't know what the fuck to think. I don't know. Go listen to Pearl Jam. I know they're not an emo band, but apparently maybe they are, depending on who you talk to in some reality. Bye!